Hey, it's Bruce with WeedersDigest.com. Today we're talking about how to manage, measure, evaluate, and ultimately reduce the level of muck in your lake or pond. And on this beautiful day in February, myself and a number of neighbors went out onto our lake. We drilled a number of holes, uh, GPS to where they were exactly at, and then we uh, inserted the probe down to the bottom of the, of the lake. You could sense when you would hit the muck level and then apply some extra pressure to it, at the, which time uh, you would be able to fill the tube with the muck, um, obviously to the level that you've got. If you've got one foot or two foot or three foot, which in our lake uh, we found that most commonly we found areas of uh, around two feet of muck. And then as you pull it back out, it's a... Uh, a valve that closes on it, and so you pull it up and have a chance to evaluate it. Once you've had a chance to evaluate, you measure the water depth, you measure, you of course, GPS exactly where you're at, and then you've also had a chance to measure the muck level. And then in our case, we actually chose to pull a sample and then have that read to determine what level of it was organic or inorganic. And then as a result of those tests that we will receive back, we'll be able to determine what's going to be the most effective way to manage and ultimately reduce the level of muck within our lake. Now, from there, um, we're able to, uh, we were able to go around and find we found one area that actually had nine feet of muck. We thought there was only going to be about seven or eight feet of water and a couple of feet of muck and, and, um, uh, Unbeknownst to anyone on our lake, we found that there was nine feet of muck below that. That's all using this tube here. And so our goal now will be to read those sediments and from that determine, again, exactly what the material is in the bottom of the lake. We expect it to be organic, and then we expect that we will be able to reduce that. So I uh, just wanted to show you a little bit of a, a testing method. And uh, stay in touch with us uh, at WeedersDigest.com. Get on our newsletter list, and then we'll, of course, keep you posted, and we'll tell you the results that we get. Now, this is a, I shouldn't say that quite the way, because we know that this is going to take years to reduce that level of muck. But we've got some very uh, strategic ways that we're going to work with it. And uh, 